Mary Alice, day two of the Booker tour through Iowa, and we really put in the miles today, starting this morning in Sergeant Bluff, where the senator held an education roundtable with parents and teachers after a private tour through the high school with some students. Then we trekked across the state to Carroll, which is where we are now. Yesterday we were in Sioux City, where the senator held the first of his conversations with Corey in front of about 100 Iowa Democrats. It was current vintage Booker, pushing not a warm and fuzzy love, but love as a powerful force, one that can transform a nation on the brink of dissolving into tribalism. These Iowans, mostly white, mostly liberal, and definitely anti-Trump, loved it. Behold, here cometh the dreamer. Let us slay him and see what becomes of his dream. What will become of our dream now? The dream of our forefathers and mothers in towns like Buxton, immigrants from Europe, migrants from the South, what will become of our dream that our forefathers and mothers died for on beaches from Iwo Jima to Normandy? What will become of our dream? Black blood and white blood and Christian blood dying together in places like Mississippi, Goodman, Cheney, and Schwarner. What will become of our dream in this generation? Will it grow dim? No, sir. Will it grow dark? He was terrific, and he, I like his style and the way he answered questions, and he was very rousing. Here in Iowa, we get a chance to see a lot of the national candidates. So for the last 20 years or so, I've been seeing and listening to quite a few candidates. I think this was probably the best performance I've seen since I saw Obama at Morningside in 2008. I think that his message of love is simple and people sometimes think that that's not going to work but I, I believe that and so I hope that it can um, you know like people are asking about specifics tonight and and wanted him to say that as well and so I think that it was cool that he's able to not just say, say um, what may be sit, taken as cliche but it, he stands behind it and he his record has shown it. I guess if it was today I would probably be voting for so Senator Booker. Um, I, I am kind of reluctant to make my decision too soon. I know there will be some debates in June but he came across very strongly today. Uh, I'm, I feel uh, very good about supporting him and hopefully that uh, feeling will remain. Susan Leonard there kind of summing up the consensus among the Democrats yesterday. They loved Cory Booker's presentation, but they realized there are about 18 other candidates to hear from and ultimately to choose from. We're off to Nevada, Iowa next, where we're promised to get a few minutes one-on-one -on -one with Cory Booker. We'll have that for you tomorrow. Right now we're in Carroll. I'm David Cruz. Mary Alice, we'll send it back to you.